Christ, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles that great most on who were well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, man. Shalom to you brothers out there uh, on the highways and byways, preaching and teaching in truth and sincerity. All right, Shalom, Barakatham to you brothers. And uh, I want to say a few words on the, uh, the state of. Uh, Israel, and when I say that, I don't just mean brothers in the camps. I mean, uh, I mean all Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Every, every one of them. All right, we're in a uh, we're in a scenario of grave danger, man. And the the uh, the warning that I want to give out to the body, man, of, of those that are laboring in truth, man, is uh, people are people are uh, people are becoming uh, unhinged, man. People are not. Uh, people aren't right, man. <laughs> you know, and a lot of this is that confusion that's going on in, in, in Babylon. A lot of these people took that wop, you know, that juice, and they just haven't been right since, man. And, and this is just a uh, just a warning to be circumspect, man, about the people you got around you. All right, even if you've known them for years, man, you we got to be prepared to basically cut these people off, man. Um, and, and I'm really speaking about a lot of these Israelites out here too that, that, that are just not right. They got demons on them, man. The scriptures say that in, uh, I believe it's Isaiah 1, it says the whole head is sick, man. You know, it says the whole head is sick. All right. And 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 this is basically the most high, basically re reasoning it with us. That same scripture, it says, come and let us reason together. Why should you be stricken anymore? You know? And that's the thing you got to realize, man. A lot of these people in your family, you might like them. You might have a soft spot in your heart for them, but they're, they're not right, man. They're not all there, all right? We're not in a scenario where, where, where we can win, you know? And that's why the scriptures say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Only you can save yourself, all right? There's nothing wrong with feeling some type of way about your family, but as men, we're going to need to be able to gird up our loins and go and go out it uh, go at it alone, man. If it, if it comes to that, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have to suck it up and and, and and deal with the pain of loss. All right, because the Lord is against uh, uh, everybody in this place, man. Save the elect. All right, and we we really have to hope that the Lord is okay with us, man. But that that our sacrifice is accepted. You know. This is a very dangerous time, man, you know? And uh, you're starting to see more and more people wild out. They're starting to do crazy things. Lord willing, I'm going to do a video just showing you how, how much people are, are losing their minds out here, man. <laughs> you know, every day you can go on YouTube or TikTok and see some kind of degeneracy. I saw some nigga woman, man, just going off about how, how, uh, how fat her, uh, her box is. You know, and part of it is just a lot of these women on online, especially on social media. A lot of these people are addicts, man. They're, they don't realize that they're addicted to something, but they are, and that and that addiction is attention and validation from the, these social media sites, man. They got you. You know, they got you. You know, that's why that's why the scriptures say, man, save. There would no flesh be saved, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, unless the days were shortened, man. All right? So the Lord has to shorten the time because that's how bad it's going to get out here, man. AI, you think you're getting catfish now. Wait till you see a bitch on Instagram and then in real life, man, she, she looked like, like fucking uh, 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 Monique Parker, man. You know? Don't look a lick of what they, <laughs> what they look like in real life. That's that's the uh, that's the scenario that we're going in, man. You know, and Jake, y'all got to be able to see it, all right, before it's too late, man. All right, we've been known that these people were not right, man. All right, we've been known that they gonna start fighting against each other. The scripture said that in Isaiah 19, man, the Egyptians shall fight against Egyptian, man. All right, the Lord also said He's gonna choose their delusions. All right, so you're not dealing with people that are playing with a full deck. You know, you're, you're, you're just not, man. All right, it, it, it's, it's high time to wake up out of sleep. 
and we've been we've been preaching it and telling you man but we're about to get into a very dangerous time man we're living in a world where you know the power goes out for more than three days man your life is in danger not because you're gonna uh, 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 overheat or something like that or, or uh, people are gonna lose their minds man <laughs> your worst enemy when you watch that show the walking dead the, the, the worst enemy was not the zombies the the, the enemy was the, was mainly humans man sentient beings that can think <laughs> all right and that's so spiritual because when we go out on this pilgrimage man when all hell breaks loose in Jacob's trouble you know he, uh, these two thirds are gonna be our main priority man we're gonna have to worry <laughs> more about niggas than anybody else man you know because they're they going to be scared to try them Edomites, man. Because when them Edomites, they dig in, you know, they into guns. They're going to dig in. All right? But but eventually that that uh, that lion in Judah is going gonna to rise up, man. But there's going to be a period of time, man, where we're going to have to deal with our own people, man. All right? We're not only going to have to cut them off, cut people off, you know, we're not gonna have to, not only gonna have to forsake things, but we're gonna have to actually fight, man. We're gonna have to actually clear, uh, try to clear our names, all right? Which the Lord is gonna do that for us, but we're gonna have to fight. People are gonna turn against us, man. That you shouldn't be looking at these people as as uh, completely coherent, man. There's, there's a reason why the Lord calls them the dead, man, all right? The scriptures speak about them wandering back into the congregation of the dead. These people are not right, man, all right? You need to be very circumspect about, you know, how you're moving out here, you know? Like, I had a, 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 a Edomite, uh, bitch, she was kind of bad, too. She's my neighbor. She just moved in yesterday. I have no idea. She just knocked on my door. She's like, can you help me move my bed? Well, these women have no help. They got no man. They got no nothing. But you know, in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, it ain't no big deal. I'm gonna just go over there. But in the back of my head, that even that was foolish. Even though she's my neighbor, I don't go into no random either my woman's house. I never met, you know. And she could say something happened, and you know, he, he, I'm not saying be overly paranoid, but we are about to get into that time where we're gonna have to exercise extreme caution, man, or at least be consciously evaluating the scenarios that we're in, man. We can't just be willy-nilly going out in the bars and getting turned up. We're not paying attention to our surroundings. All right, that kind of thing that we gotta we gotta let that shit go, man. You know, it's time to lock the fuck in. All right. So that's all I really wanted to speak on that matter, man. Lord willing, this was edifying. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachat Wadash, Wa Abba Abba, Shalom.